so in today's video I'm going to be showing you my booty room and makeup collection. This is probably my most highly requested video yet. I wasn't able to show you my entire makeup collection as I have a lot of makeup products stored away which I use on clients. A lot of you guys want to know the ins and outs of this booty room so I tried showing you guys as much as possible. This is actually probably a small collection to a lot of people um, but this is just the stuff that I have in my booty room which I use on a daily. Yeah, let's just get straight into the video and I hope you all enjoy. Okay, so when you walk into my booty room, the first thing you see is this mirror. I've just got it propped up against the wall. It's like a white antique style mirror and it's huge. So it goes all the way from the floor to here. I think it's just under about six foot tall. Um, so yeah, I had this at the range and I really love it. Then to the right of the mirror, I have my chest of drawers and I covered the tops with this lovely marble fablon. Up here in this corner, I just have my artificial plant pot. I just really like that, it's from Ikea. So yeah, I'm really pleased with my little DIY marble worktops. Then as you come down to this corner, this is where I keep my Mac. So this is where I spend the majority of my time editing. Then over towards the window we have my little desk. The net curtains are from Ikea. The desk itself is from Ikea. The chair is Ikea. I got this little fur row from Ikea. The pillow is from Dunelm. And then I have my radiator behind this. So just put some fairy lights across the radiator. Tucked away over in this corner I have my IKEA lac shelving and that pretty much goes all the way up to the ceiling so it's like I'd say this was six foot tall as well. Um, so I just thought that really set the room off. I just like to keep my little gift bags on there. I think it looks really nice. Flowers are from the range and the A at the top was a gift from one of my dancers. And then to the right of that I have my dressing table. Um, this is by far my favourite part of the room. I absolutely love it. So these are the two Alex drawers with a tabletop just sat on top of them. The little stool is from Dunelm, I believe, um, which is really handy as well because it's extra storage. The lid does come off. I have loads of questions about my mirror all the time. My boyfriend actually made it for me. He's an electrician, so he's able to make this for me. He actually surprised me um, two Christmases ago with this mirror, and I'm just so grateful. So I pretty much keep all my makeup in these drawers here and on the actual dressing table itself, which I'll get into in a moment. And then moving across to the right, I have my Alex 9 drawer. So I think it's like double the size. Um, and then I also have this marble artificial plant pot. This was from Primark. And I just have my little candle burning. Up here I just have some nail varnishes so I can see them more clearly. Um, I love the Barry M nail varnishes, they're amazing. This is my ceiling light, I absolutely fell in love with this. This is from The Range. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly show you my makeup and booty collection. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I don't think anyone wants to know exactly what I have. But just for those of you who ask, this is how I store my things. So in this first top drawer, I have all of my deodorants. So I do try and keep them as organized as possible. I have all my roll-ons at the front and my deodorant sprays at the back. So that's the first drawer. In the second drawer, I keep all of my perfumes. So I've actually recently had a huge clear out, guys. So now I only have a small collection of perfumes. I have all my body sprays here and my perfumes on this side. My absolute favorite perfume of all is Alien. Um, I've got like a few bottles here as backups because I wear this every single day. This is my scent. <laughs> I also like Marc Jacobs Daisy, Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle. Um, yeah, DKNY. I really like the sweet scents. 
And then moving down to this next drawer, I have all of my moisturizers and face masks and makeup removers um, and my makeup wipes. Put my favorite moisturizers down here, um, facial cleansers, toners, um, face masks over this side. I really love this face mask. This is the Detox Mask Pure Clay by L'Oreal. Um, my some of my teeth whitening stuff. So yeah, that's what's in that drawer. In this drawer, I have all of my body lotions, fake tans, um, body butters. So, so all of like the body moisturising lotions are in this one. So up there, I have like the facial moisturisers, and these are body moisturisers. I have a few of my favourite fake tans here, so the Garnier Summer Body and the Coco Brown Fake Tan, that's my favourite at the moment. Um, I've just got some Jack Wills and some sun creams in the back. <laughs> they always keep some spare sun cream just in case, you never know. So yeah, that's that drawer. And and then this drawer, I keep all of my shower gel, shower creams, um, bubble bath, bath bombs, so anything to do with the shower. So I have all my Doves here, um, Sanctuary products, Jack Wills, um, Snow Fairy by Lush, yeah, Radox, Sanix, just a bit of everything. And this last drawer isn't very exciting, it's just where I keep all my makeup bags. So if ever I'm going away, I know exactly where they are. Moving on to the next set of drawers, I was debating whether to show these or not because to be honest with you, they're not very organised, they're an absolute mess. But I thought, what the hell, I'm still in the middle of organising everything. So the first drawer is basically where I keep all my everyday hair stuff, so like my brush, my straighteners, my curlers. My hair dryer, this is just the Lee Stafford hair dryer, my GHDs and the Bellamy curlers. And then this side is a bit of a mess. I just keep all my bobby pins in here, um, some headbands at the back. Then I have my hair dye in this corner. Next one down, oh my gosh, please excuse the organised chaos in this drawer, guys. But this is where I keep all my hair products, and I mean all my hair products. So literally shampoos, conditioners, heat protection spray, um, my Tony and Guy texturising sprays, all my, <coughs> my oil, so Moroccan oil, olive oil, um, shine spray, hair sprays, dry shampoos, hair clay, hair masks. Literally all my hair products are in this drawer, so I'll just give you a little close-up. The shampoo is the OGX shampoo and conditioner. They're amazing. I haven't really found a more organised way to keep my hair products, so I just kind of chuck them all in this drawer. And then moving down to the third drawer, I have... Um, my extensions, some wigs, uh, my Bellamy curling kit. This is the six in one complete curling set, it's amazing. Um, my, my extension ponytail, some Kylie Cosmetics, hair couture, uh, Bellamy, those are my lilac ones, I believe. My chopstick curler, and yeah, that's about it. I just keep some more hair tools in this drawer and then my last drawer I'm not going to go into too much detail because it is a mess but this is where I keep all my SFX stuff so whenever I'm filming my Halloween makeup tutorials I know exactly where everything is so all my face paints, glitters, brushes, cotton wool, big bag of cotton wool for my SFX stuff um yeah anything to do with SFX is all in this drawer so I like to keep all of that in one place. And then moving over to the last set of drawers. Um, in the top one, I like to keep all my like equipment. So I know it's always next to the computer if I need it. 
Um, so I have my camera case, which is for the camera I'm using right now. Um, some spare batteries, because I'm always running out of batteries. Um, the GoPro, all my leads and cables, and my microphone, my iPad over there. And then I also have like my SD cards and everything all nice and safe in this bag. So, for my equipment. And in this drawer, there's not actually much to see because everything is put away in plastic bags. And, and there is a reason for that. Um, in this bag here, I have my wax pot and I don't want that getting everywhere. So I keep it in a plastic carrier bag. I have my booty towels and all my sheets for when I'm doing waxing. I have my eyebrow tinting kit here, um, some wax strips, my Biore nose strips. Basically all my pamper thing, this is the drawer I come to for that. And in this last drawer, a bit random I know, but I just run out of room in my bedroom. So this is where I keep all my hats and accessories. So whenever I need a hat, I know they're all in this drawer here. Okay, so I love this desk. It came with a drawer. This drawer just pulls out. This is where I keep some of my jewellery. And I say some because I do have a lot more jewellery in jewellery boxes in my bedroom. Um, but this is just some of the stuff that I reach for on like a daily. And it's easy for me to just quickly decide what I want to wear on that particular day. So I've just got some earrings and some of my favourite rings. Um, my Michael Kors watch. Some of my chokers, bracelets. And then all my necklaces are on this side. Like I said. These are just some of the stuff I like to wear on a daily. If you'd like to see my entire jewellery collection, um, I can do that for you. Just got my little mirror. This is where I get ready every day with the natural light. So this is the mirror I use for doing my makeup. I have my little Yankee candle. And this is just full of my favourite earrings. And in these bags, I actually keep all of my candles. So if I just show you like a sneak peek, all of my Yankee candles are in those bags. So I'm not going to show every single drawer because I don't think every drawer needs to be seen. Um, especially these, I'm probably not going to show any of these apart from one. I'll show you one because they're accessories. The rest is where I keep all my paperwork and all the boring adult stuff. So <laughs> I'm not going to show you much of them. And I'll just show you the drawers that I think are mostly organised. <laughs> I think I'll start with this side, so I hope you can see everything there. These containers I got from Ikea again. Literally this whole room is Ikea, guys. Um, so when my brushes need washing, I do apologise. This is where I keep all my big fluffy brushes. So mostly like my face brushes, powder brushes. In this one I tend to keep some of my eyeshadow brushes and eyebrow brushes, they're all kept in there, I'm not going to go into too much detail. The majority of these are Real Techniques, MAC and Morphe. Um, moving along to my first makeup organiser, I've had these for years, I really want to change them now and get the bigger ones, um, but they'll do me for now. I just keep some of the boxes, I'm, to be honest I'm a bit of a box hoarder and I just think the boxes look really lovely, just sitting there. I don't know, I'm, I'm just weird, it might just be me. Is anyone else like that? Probably not. In the containers, I tend to keep my most used products. So, um, I got my Iconic London Illuminator Drops, I got my Clarins Radiance Drops, my RCMA No Colour Powder, a few of my favourite uh, lip glosses. So I have my eyebrow products, so I have all my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomades, uh, my brow bars to go by White Moon Lightning. In the second drawer is all my concealers. So I have my Bobbi Brown, my Benefit, my MAC concealers. In this drawer I have some of my favourite powders. So just like my MAC Select Sheer Powder, my Rimmel Stay MAC Powder. In this one I have another powder. I have some of my blushes at the back. Colourpop Flexitaria and L'Oreal Time Resist. And I have a few MAC pigments in here as well. In this drawer I have my gel eyeliners. I don't tend to reach for gel eyeliners that much to be honest. In this drawer I have my favourite liquid glitters. So I 
some silver, some gold. This one is my favourite, just the Heavy Metal by Urban Decay. And then in this drawer I have um, some loose powders. This one's the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then in the bottom I have some of my Makeup Geek pigments. I haven't got around to putting them into a palette yet, that's why they're all shoved in there. So at the top here I have my MAC lipsticks. So I'll just go through a few of my favourites. I have MAC Myth. Um, Honey Love, Velvet Teddy, Brave, I'm down with it, um, Ruby Woo, Vegas Vault, Angel, Captain. They're kind of like in colour order as well, so I know which one's which. Dark Side, oh my gosh, I love Dark Side. It's like a deep um, burgundy shade. It's like my perfect autumnal colour. Uh, Diva and Instigate, no, up the amp. And I also have Instigate, I don't know where that's gone. So this site is actually a bit of an organised mess at the moment. Um, I just haven't got around to sorting it out. I thought I'd show you anyway, if you want to see. <laughs> I have my KKW Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick box and then they're all set out up here. Um, the, the Kim Kardashian Cream Liquid Lipsticks and they're all like a new shade, they're really nice. This pot again from Ikea. Um, all my pots are from Ikea if you're wondering guys. This is um, where I keep all my lip liners. I just find it really easy. I used to have them in a drawer and then I decided to put them in this pot one day and they're just so much easier to get my hands on. So I love the MAC lip liners, I love the NYX lip lip liners, um, the Rimmel lip liners, Jordana, I just got a load of lip liners in there. This is where I keep um, my eyeliners and some of my favourite mascaras and brow gels, um, mostly like eye products so I keep my brushes in here as well, like my eyebrow brushes, eyeliner brushes. My favourite liquid liner is the Master Ink one by Maybelline, this one, amazing. Um, in this one I have all my nude liquid lipsticks, so like my favourite nude liquid lipsticks. I've got Jeffree Star, Dose of Colours, P.S., Line Crime, NYX, Kat Von D, Colourpop, Kylie Cosmetics, more Colourpop, more Kylie, Huda Booty. I think that's about it. I think those are all like my top favourite liquid lipsticks. If I move these out of the way, I have at the top here I have some more lip glosses. I don't tend to reach for lip glosses too much, that's why they're kind of set back out of the way. I have some Lime Crime lipsticks, again an empty box because I think it looks nice. In this first drawer I keep my NYX Butter Lip Creams. Don't tend to reach for them too much actually. In this drawer I keep all my eyelash glue, like my duo glue. In this next drawer, this is like jam full, I need to go through all these. Um, but this is where I keep my concealers. So I've got my Ellie Girl concealers, my NYX concealers, Rimmel, um, Maybelline Eraser Eye, MAC Prep and Prime. What's this one? Revlon Age Defying, NARS Custard, this is a dupe for NARS Custard, it's the Maybelline something, Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me, uh, Collection Last Perfection, Urban Decay Naked Skin, um, yeah, just a few of my favourite concealers in this one, and this one is where I keep my cream contours, so I got my Ellie Girl concealers, bronze, ooh, <laughs> bronze sticks, my NYX, my NYX bronze concealer, my, my NYX contour palette. In this one I have clear glosses, so up here I have my colour glosses and in here I have my clear glosses. This one is amazing. I used to buy this all the time when I was like 13. It was like the only thing I ever wore with obviously bright blue eyeshadow. But it like burns your lips in a good way. Like it's really minty and fresh. It's really good. It's the 
Bourgeois Gloss Menthol. Yeah, that's it. It's like a menthol lip gloss. So nice. In here, I just keep... Um, I just keep some like glitter pigments. I don't know why I keep them in there. And then, oh that's why, because I didn't have enough room in this one. Um, this is where I keep some more glitter pigments. So I've got um, my Makeup Geek Afterglow, my, my Certify Glitter. This, this stuff is amazing, guys, it's so good. Uh, which one is this? This is Camo Glitter. Oh, it's the Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Cosmetics Camel Glitter. I got this big glitter palette with my glitter eyeshadows in there. I think I might do something with this red shade for Christmas. Let me know if you'd like to see that. I've got some more glitters at the back. But yeah, that's where I keep all the glitters. And then down here I keep more mascaras. So like L'Oreal Telescopic, MAC Mascara, Double uh, Seven, Maybelline. Just all my favourite mascaras are down there. Basically it for the top guys. I'll just quickly show you the drawers. So over on the left, my first drawer is where I keep my very dirty eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> they use and abuse guys, I'm sorry, but yeah, I have my Jack and Hill palette, my Morphe palette, my Kylie Bible palette, uh, Kylie Cosmetics, more Morphe. This is a glitter one by uh, PS, but it's really good. Modern Renaissance. My naked palettes are at the back there somewhere. The naked smoky, naked one, two, three. Um, my other Carly Bible palette. Yeah, this is basically where I keep all my eyeshadow palettes. In the second drawer is where I keep all my bronzers and contour kits. So I have all my bronzers lined up here. So I got a few by MAC. This one's my favourite. It's the Give Me Sun. I have this Too Faced one. So my everyday bronzers are lined up here. I have a few unopened boxes down this end. Then I have my contour kit. So I got the PS contour kit. Another PS contour kit. My Anastasia contour kit. Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. A few more bronzers this side. Then I have blushes down this side. Moving on to the right side. In my first drawer I keep um, like my lip balm. So I just got like a little tub here. All my lip balms in, my Vaseline, my EOS, Jack Wills. Just my lip balms in there. This little tub is where I keep my beauty blenders. I've got some cotton buds here. They always come in handy. I've got some facial sprays. So I've got my Mario Badescu, my Urban Decay, Urban Decay All Nighter. Fix Plus, Fix Plus, Fix Plus, more Fix Plus at the back there. Then I got my primers, my L'Oreal Infallible, Smashbox Photo Finish, NYX, Lemon Water. Yeah, so it's just all my primers and fixing sprays. And in the second drawer is where I store all my foundations. I did have so many foundations, guys. I had a huge clear out the other day. So now I just have a few of my favourites. I have the Giorgio Armani, Nars, Sheer Glow, Chanel Perfection Lumiere, Estee Lauder Double Wear, a few MAC foundations down this end, Stila, all my L'Oreal. I love the L'Oreal True Match, it's probably one of my favourite foundations. More L'Oreal, Maybelline, Rimmel, Maybelline, Covergirl, Revlon. I have some foundation sticks there. These are some that I haven't opened yet. Then at the back I just have a few of my sample pots. So yeah, that's my foundation drawer. In the next drawer I have oh, some of my favourite highlighters. This is like my favourite drawer. <laughs> so this is my favourite highlighting kit ever. It's the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia one. I have the Moon Child. Um, that Glow Glow Kit. Uh, Kiko highlighter, there's some Benefit High Beam, and some Mermaid Glow, Mary Lou, Mary Lou, Colourpop, Becca, Becca Champagne Pop, and, and a few of my MAC ones there at the back. The next drawer is where I keep all of my eyelashes. Again, I've had a massive clear out of eyelashes because most of them were just 
so used and I was never going to wear them again. This drawer was like full to the brim. I chucked a load out and now I've just got a few of my favourites that are still wearable. Um, so I've got my Huda lashes, my Vogue Lash Professional lashes, House of Lashes, Iconics, Lily Galici, um, Socialize lashes, some Eyelet, The Back, Red Cherry. Yeah, just a mixture of my favourite lashes. And then this bottom drawer I wasn't going to show you because I haven't finished organising yet. My drawer full of red and pink lipstick. So I need to organise that. So we're not going to show that for too long. The last drawer I'm going to show over here is my sunglasses. I just got all like my bigger black sunglasses this side. And then I got more of my aviator style on this side. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video guys. Um, so yeah, just a little sneak peek of my beauty room and my makeup collection. I will do a more in-depth video of my makeup collection for you once it's all sorted. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video guys. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel below if you haven't already. And until the next one, I'll see you all really soon.